Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 11th to the 17th of November 2013. The week builds up to the full moon in Taurus on the 17th, but before that we have a number of other things happening. On Monday the 11th, Mercury turns direct in Scorpio. Mercury's been retrograde in Scorpio for quite a while now, and we've had a chance to look back, to remember, to remind ourselves of what's important. There may have been people coming back from the past. There may have been flash insights of things that we experienced in the past so that we could truly get the meaning of them and move on. Because Scorpio is all about clearing away the debris, dying to the old and being reborn to the new. So on Monday, although things may not seem very logical, this is our chance to go into the intuitive realms and to really sum up the whole of that Mercury retrograde phase so that we can get the message. On Tuesday Mercury trines Neptune so the real soulful message will come through there, the real deep meaning of uh, what it's meant to us on a many life pattern rather than just in this life because Neptune is our resonant frequency, it's our higher, our high priestess, it's our higher soul, our inner self and what we really came here to achieve or to be. So Mercury, try Neptune the day after retrograde. Take a little time to be thoughtful, to be mellow, to be resonant with your eternal frequency because again that message can be delivered and we can move on lighter and stronger and wiser as a result. Then Wednesday comes along, we have a beautiful day with Sun, Trine, Jupiter. The Sun and Jupiter are both very kingly, sovereign, golden aspects and when they trine that's a harmonic angle. So there's a great chance now that we've done all of this clearing to get the expansion, we've made room now so that we can expand into our true self, we can expand into our own sovereignty and we can expand into our goldenness. So with plenty of room made on a cellular level, we've got a chance to really start to resonate our truth from Wednesday onwards. On Thursday, Neptune turns direct. So we've had both Mercury and Neptune retrograde and now this week they're both turning direct. When a planet goes retrograde, it takes us inwards. It's the magnetic principle. When it turns direct, it's a chance to actually express having done the work, having cleared ourselves out, having found our true calibration, it's a chance to actually begin to express and radiate that light. So with, Merc uh, with Neptune sorry, turning direct on Thursday, it's a chance to really see what you're resonating on the inside and how it permeates out and how it creates change on the outside on a very soulful level. So all four of those aspects together actually tell quite a beautiful story of clearing and radiating. Then on Saturday we have Venus conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. So that's going to be a very deep and rebuilding aspect again. So we've cleared out, we've held some peace and some tranquility and some space inside of us. We're beginning to radiate and now this will actually show us on a more practical level and on an inner values level, what we can start to reconstruct. So Venus is what we love, who we love, how we love. And Pluto is deconstructing in Capricorn, but it's also rebuilding on strong foundations. So with all the Scorpio activity, we've definitely been shown what we don't love and how we've been creating things and attracting things to us out of past drama and inner subconscious realms that need to be cleared up but now with Venus in Pluto we've got a clear way ahead to actually build on some very firm foundations on some solid ground and build something of lasting beauty that will see us into the future. Saturday night is actually the best night to celebrate the full moon in Taurus as well which does come in on the 17th on Sunday but Saturday is the better night to celebrate it as it's fuller at that time. So with the full moon in Taurus, we're looking at the real celebration of that Venus energy that's come in with Venus conjunct Pluto. Again, it's what do you truly care about? What do you truly love? And as this aspect builds Saturday night through to Sunday afternoon, 
it's very important to just have a look at your values, your core self-esteem and what really matters because we are spirits on a material plane and the material plane does matter. We can't just go for retreat and abstinence all the time. We're here to actually create and build something both for ourselves on a spiritual level and on an emotional level and on a physical level but also in this particular age and time we're here to build something together, build something better. So with all the deconstruction that we've seen going on in the world, this is your chance to put that Aquarian vision into place. This feels like New Year's resolution time as we decide what it is that we're actually going to be climbing up the mountain to achieve of Capricorn. So full moon in Taurus, base your intentions, base your uh, plans on love, worth and value. Make it a legacy, make it something that will last and stand strong and go deep into that one on Saturday night and into Sunday as the beautiful full moon in Taurus shines down on us and reveals our core values. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week.